What we did is, as the Prime Minister began speaking, we turned our backs to him. That was a very deliberate message because we feel that the Prime Minister has turned his back on us. I am disappointed that they felt that they could bring the Prime Minister to this event and expect the group of young workers who they've spent the last two days telling us to be empowered, telling us to stand up, telling us to speak truth to power, and then they put power in front of us and they expect us to sit quietly. That was never in our plans. He claims to be this, the, the dude for the young people, right? Like he claims to be the guy, like he's got, he understands us, he knows what's up. Bro, like, we're, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm no joke. Like, I've been doing three jobs ever since I was 16, on and off, like, one or two jobs here or there, you know, just to make a, a, ends meet. A lot of us are finishing school, graduating with enormous debt, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, can't find jobs. Everything's stacked against us, you know, and it sucks. We're tired of that, man. Like, come on. And he said he wants to talk, talk. Like, what's there to talk about? It's the broken promises. I think there's been more than enough time since uh, Trudeau was elected uh, to get some of these things done. Electoral reform is a huge one, and that statement just came out. We had the Minister of Finance just say that young workers need to get used to precarious work, uh, as if that's an appropriate statement and it's just something we need to deal with. Uh, we, we, we're not willing to accept that. We're told that we, we, we need to wait our turn, um, and, and we don't agree. Uh, we're not the future, we're the right now. As an Indigenous woman who's been silenced for many years, I think that um, I wasn't able to address any issues as a First Nations person in Canada. I, I was in the behind the line of people and they completely silenced my voice as well. And I think that's an issue for, it was an issue for a lot of people. Like I would love to have spoken and brought up some major issues that First Nations people are facing across Canada and that my voice wasn't heard. It was lost in all of the dialect and stuff.